10 things that will shock you about the South USA. Really interested to see what kind of things is going to shock me about the South of USA. Before we do get into this, I appreciate if you guys can hit that subscribe button. Let's jump straight into this to see what we got. Hey, fellow travelers, or as they say down here in the South, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Walter's World, and we're in the hostess city of Savannah, Georgia. This okay. is literally Jocelyn's favorite city in the entire world, okay? And it's definitely my favorite city to come to in the South of the U.S. Oh, cool. This place is fantastic and the thing is the south in general is wonderful from the food to the people and so much more Ooh. and you'll be shocked about how much you love it and some things that drive you a little nuts right and so we have for you today are kind of 10 things that shock tourists and travelers when they come to the south okay because your perception of the south from tv is probably going to be a little different than some of the things you actually see when you come here right. so let's get started now the first thing that shocks tourists when that's the thing with like us as tourists going to america right we see all the things on movies and tv shows right so like actually these videos are good because you realize actually going there it's not all about the movies and tv shows I come here is the southern hospitality yes okay. it is truly southern hospitality here the people go they on. are friendly they are helpful they do go out of their way to help you they okay, will show good. you where the sites are they will recommend the best restaurants they will recommend the hidden, hidden gems the people here are fantastic they're friendly they're helpful they use their manners i mean it's crazy i oh, live wow. in the north and i come down here and people are like yes ma'am yes sir yes please you know everyone calls me mr mark and my wife is miss jocelyn and my oh, boys really? they do their southern best they say yes ma'am yes sir wait wait so like will everyone be saying ma'am and sir even like if i went there they'll be calling me sir and everyone is like that here and it really wow. makes it a really fantastic experience with this politeness and this southern hospitality and you just want to come back she's like dang it those people are so nice there Aww. and the second thing that's going to shock you when you come down here is look just because people have accents doesn't mean they're stupid okay a lot of people have the stereotype that people in the south okay are dumb. oh you have an accent you must not have any education they have some really good schools down here. i swear that's because like on tv shows and movies right when someone has like a really thick like southern accent they always play like the dumb characters right so that that's probably where the uh, stereotype comes from here. People are intelligent down here. Just because they have an accent doesn't mean they're okay. stupid. No and that's taken. one thing. When I talk to Southerners, I have great conversations, in-depth kind of things. And they're always like, why is it Northern things were so stupid? And right. that's the thing is the stereotype you see about the South in, re in, in movies and TV is all about these hillbilly backwoods people. Okay. Look, there's hillbilly sure. backwood people in Germany. There's that in China. <laughs> there's that in the North, all kinds of stuff. Everywhere. It's just that stereotype and that trope is very popular to use about Southerners. And it's the farthest thing from the truth. The people are not stupid here. And the thing is, that leads into the third thing that will shock you are the Southernisms here. There are some very distinct Southern culture things here. Okay. Yes, there are some things here that are very definitely Southern, how things work, how people act, Beautiful. all kinds of stuff, but also how they talk. And the thing is, when you're thinking, oh, I'm making fun of these southerners these hillbillies they don't know anything and they go oh bless your heart bless your heart you're such a wonderful person southerners know how to southern you to death they will be as nice to you because that hospitality but when they're doing is actually insulting you because you're so off base on some things so huh? it is kind of funny when i'll see people talking and the sun as we talk is, oh bless your heart that is so nice and you're like oh Believe me, if someone says bless your heart or bless their heart, that's basically saying, oh my God, these people are so stupid. Okay, so oh, that's really? your, your southern translation, okay? So that, those southernisms... Wait, so if someone in, in, in the south says to me like, oh, bless your heart, they're like, yo, you're dumb? <laughs> Hey, I know now that are out there that does kind of shock people how people act how they talk You know the, right. the, the, the some of the verbiage they use so it is it is kind of a funny thing And one of those things where the southern hospitality and the southernism really comes out is the food And that's the fourth thing that shocks you about mm. the south is food? the food when you're here. Yes They do fry a lot of food here. I don't mind yes, that they use an extra stick of butter and a lot of things here But you know what it I is like worth it. the food here in the south is the best in the u.s. Yeah, what? yeah, you can have fancy restaurants Yo, What is that? U.S. Is that like? Oh, that was good. Yeah, yeah, you can have fancy restaurants anywhere, but in general, you can go anywhere. You will eat well here in the South. The Ooh, biscuits, the sweetie. fried chicken, the collard oh. greens, the soul food you see. The you know, if you go to New Orleans and the Louisiana, the Creole food, the Cajun food. The food here is unbelievable. It's One so thing you gotta have shrimp and grits. Okay, you gotta have grits. There's like how many? Like a corn based kind of porridge and you put some shrimp in there some cheese in there oh my oh i've heard of grits right and seen it a couple times but i still can't figure out like what it is he just said it's some type of like porridge is that what it is god oh shrimp and grits it's fantastic 
and the food here is amazing when you come here. That's why when you come, that's why when you're in the South, make sure you ask your restaurant, ask the people you meet there, because the, the hospitality of the Southerners, they will tell you where you should go. Right. And ask them, what is the thing I should really eat here? Where should I really go here? You know, Savannah's kind of famous because Paula Deen was here. They're like, yeah, Paula Deen's got her, 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 her thing, Lady and Sons. But what you really want to do, if you want to have some really Southern thing, go to Mrs. Wilkes. That's the better one. And people say, like, yes, it's still touristy, but you go there to those things and you have the really traditional kind of stuff. You right. have the real pecan pie. You really have the amazing fried chicken. You do have all the, you know, fried green. Oh, you know what? I know I would love pecan pie now because I had my P.O. box in my other house and a few months ago and someone sent me pecan, uh, pecans. Man, they were so good. So yeah, I can't wait to get to America and try some pecan pie. Tomatoes and all those things. The food here is unbelievable and you'll be a shock how good it is and how much weight you might put on when you're here because <laughs> yes, they do I fry, but you know what? I have a lot of things here, okay? And that leads into the fifth thing that shocks people when they come down here is when they order the food, the portion sizes. Yes, I need my sweet tea like this with my free refills coming again and again and again. Right. But the amount of food they give you, it is insane. You can understand how people could. Yo, isn't this a, uh, this is a crawfish boil, right? Don't they like break these up and then drink the insides? Is that what you do? Yeah, I feel I'm going to pass on that. Listen, you guys might say this is really good, but I don't know, my British ass, I can't wrap my head around drinking inside the crawfish. I don't know, that just, uh, it, might, it, it freaks me out a little bit. The amount of food they give you, you it is drink insane. You can understand how people can enlarge themselves on their right. vacation to the south because the food is great and the portion size to go along with it really is you know insane so if you're going to be traveling here you got kids you can order and share with them because there's going to be a lot of food to go around okay that southern hospitality yeah i'll have some rice and maybe some macaroni and cheese with it and they're like okay they'll give you like a double helping and things like that so it really is the portion size just kind of blow your mind when you are down here so be ready for it. Yo, I can't wait to be shot by the portion size. I actually can't. I, I can't wait to order and be like, whoa. <laughs> okay, this is for the whole family, right? No, this is for me? Okay. Now, the sixth thing that'll shock you when you're coming down to the south is, well, one thing you need to know is you do need to drive around here to go see places. If you want to go to plantation houses or go okay. between cities, the, the public transport ain't so good, okay? Yeah, I've but, heard so that a lot. you're going to have lot. a car, you're going to drive around, and the driving here... It's a little frustrating, you know, really? I don't know why, but I feel like in the south, everyone likes to drive in the left lane on the highway. You're like, dude, you're going slow, get in the right side. It drives yo, yo, I would, I've seen too many um, final destinations. Bro, if I was behind this car, I'd be terrified. What if these start flying off at your cars? It's a bit nuts, but for a tourist like you and me, one of the things that's annoying about the driving part is the parking. Because in the South, you have a lot of these historic city centers. Okay. And of course, if you got historic city centers, you're not gonna tear down famous buildings to put up a car park. So it's right. really hard to find parking. And sometimes you're parking kind of far out. If you're going to a hotel, they have the valet, you give them the keys, they park your car someplace else. Wait, is that just in the South where like parking is bad then? Because I've heard in America, like there's a lot of parking spaces around. Because America's is designed for cars, you know what I mean? It's a car country. I thought there was loads of car parking spaces. And so you're not having as much ease with that. So oh, that really? is one of the things that will shock you is, oh my God, there's no parking. And when they do drive, oh my God, these people are crazy. And you will see, <laughs> yes, you will see the Confederate flag sometimes on their on the front of their license plate. And you will see, you know, trucks with dangly man parts on them and things like that. Huh? You do see that here. So just, you see that other places too, but. Just be ready for the driving experience you will have here right. down in the south. Because also in the south, they like their, their NASCAR, their car racing. So fast driving is kind of the norm here, okay? okay. So just be prepared for that. The seventh thing that's going to shock you about the South is the religion aspect of it. Yes, they have, they believe in God and their churches here are amazing. If you can go to a gospel church on a Sunday and see the people singing and all kinds of stuff, it is truly an experience. When you see people come right. out of churches dressed up to the tees because they go to church in a respectful way, I mean, it is like, wow, they really do believe, they really put a lot into it. And you might say it's like, oh, it's gods and guns. That's what the South is about. Well, yes, they do believe in God. You say gods and guns. And yes, they do believe in their guns, and you will see, you know, gun racks in the back of the trucks and stuff like that. But the seventh thing is going to shock. Yo, I, I was tripping out, bro. I thought he was going to say in the back of churches then. I was going to be like, yo, that's wild. Thank you is the true religion of the South, and that is SEC football. They love college football, okay? Wait, what's, what does SEC mean? SEC? I've never heard of that. I, I obviously know what college football is, and I know you guys go big on college football. 
was SEC though. This is one of the things. Wherever you go oh, in the wow. South, people will have their UGA, University of Georgia stickers on their car, and in their garage they'll have University of Georgia posters, and you know, and people, their kids will be wearing Georgia gear or LSU gear or Alabama and things like that. Like this is a true religion, you know. And, and religion, you can say, oh, are you Methodist? Are you Catholic? Are you Protestant? Are you Baptist? Are you are you Muslim? Are you Jewish? Here they're like, look. You can only have one religion, and in Georgia, you are a UGA fan. You are bulldogs <laughs> all the way. Georgia Tech people, oh, we don't talk to them. I mean, it is crazy. I remember I was in Alabama. I remember I was coming into Alabama, and they said, look, are you for Bama, the University of Alabama, or are you for Auburn? Because you get 30 seconds when you come into state to make a decision. Okay. Are you for Bama, or are you for Auburn? I'm like, hey, uh -oh. roll tide, man, roll tide. But you got hey, you better not be asking me that question. I don't know. Listen, I'll just support whoever they want me to support, man. I don't know these things, and the people are really, really enthusiastic and crazy excited about college football down here. Right, that's so cool, though. So, if you I get like a that. chance, and it's a Saturday in the fall, and you can go to a college football game, oh, even if you can't I'd get to one of the to. big ones, it is quite the experience. It's something you definitely have to do. Because that's something I'm definitely doing when I go to America, bro. I'm definitely going to a college football game, and, a, and even an NFL game as well. People will be tailgating with beers and throwing cornhole and all kinds of crazy stuff. That'd be cool. But they love it, and that's one of the things where you really see the, the passion that people have down here really comes out in their true religion of right. SEC football, okay? <laughs> what does SEC mean? What does that mean? So, the eighth thing that will shock you when you come to Savannah is you're used to partying and having a great time, whether it's Mardi Gras in New Orleans or here in Savannah for St. Patrick's Day. You look, you're used to having a good time, and right. a good time with liquor, whether it's a hurricane in New Orleans, yeah, and, or it's a Chatham Artillery Punch here in Savannah. You do have your libations. They do like to drink here, and you will have a good time with that. But the liquor laws, dude, the South has some of the craziest liquor laws. Now, the what U.S. has crazy liquor laws anyway, 21 to drink, and you know, got to look like you're 90 to buy stuff without asking for ID. <laughs> But in the South, you come up with some really good ones. For example, here in Savannah, you can walk in the street with open liquor. Most places in the U.S., you go to jail for that. New Orleans, oh, wow. you can walk around with a plastic cup of beer, no problem, okay? But you have other places where they have really strict liquor laws, like dry counties. That's where an actual county, it's a part of a state, actually sells no liquor. Okay, so you actually can't buy any alcohol in that state, which can be... Wait, wait, wait. The whole state, you can't buy liquor? So how do you get it then? You have to travel far to get it and come back? No problem if you're going to, you know, Kentucky Lake in Kentucky and you want to have a good time. Well, you got to bring all your alcohol with you because you can't buy it in the county, which is kind of crazy. Ah. Or, oh, we don't sell any liquor on Sundays. Or, um, you know, we stop liquor sales at a certain time. So just know the South has some pretty strange liquor laws out there. But it's not just the South. Anywhere in the U.S. Wait, he's on about like counties, not the actual state, right? So like... Yo, is anyone in like a county where you can't buy liquor? What do you do for your alcohol then? You can find these. I just find it happens more in the South than other places. Oh, wow. The ninth thing that will shock you when you come down to the South is the weather. I mean, there's a reason why people retire to the South and they don't retire Hot. to the North. Okay, you come down here because okay. the weather is great. I'm here in February, the dead of winter, and it's 56 degrees today. And they're like, oh my gosh, it's so cold. 56. I mean, that's warm. Okay, like I came from Illinois where it was. Wait, 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 wait. I need to know what is 50. He said 56, right? 56 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. I, I need to know. Oh, 15 degrees Celsius? What are you saying? That's cold? Bro, that would be warm for the UK. Like, nice warm. Six degrees. Okay, I'm like, uh, guys, this is like summer. I feel so great. <laughs> the weather in the South is fantastic, okay, when you come down here. And that's what's great is you can come and visit the South all year round right. and have relatively decent weather. Yes, I've got a quarter zip and stuff on, but, you, I mean, it's a cold day, and this is all I have, okay? So wow. you see these things out there, and the weather is great here. But I will warn you, the, the shock of the weather is when you first come to the South and you go to a place like Charleston or Savannah, like on the coast where you get a lot of humidity and heat and moisture, when you get out of that airport and the humidity hits you, you're like, oh, I can't breathe. That's what happened the first time I flew down to Savannah in August. Oh, really? I was literally like, I can't breathe when I got off the plane. It was crazy <laughs> when I watched you when I walked out of the airport. So that hot humidity in the summer can just be oppressive. But the rest of the year, the other you know, 10 months out of the year, you're going to love every minute of it. Yeah, okay? a lot of people said to me, if I go to South of America, do not go in the summer. Is it actually like that hot, like that bad? To, to the point where people are telling me to not go in the summer. And so that's the ninth thing that shocks people is that weather, okay? That can be quite a wonderful or 
horrifying experience. Right. And the tenth thing that's gonna shock you when you do. But come the thing is, like, when I go on holiday and stuff, I love the hot weather. It to be really hot. So I don't know, maybe I like it, but maybe it's just too, too hot. Down here to the south is the Southern pride and the Southern style. Right. It is a different way of life down here, and the people are proud of it. The people do dress a little nicer here and there, and they're not walking okay. around in their yoga pants as often as you see other places. <laughs> they do have that pride in how they dress. And you will see a seersucker suit here and there with people, and you will see people wearing that bow ties. But what I think is shocking in an awesome way about the South is their pride they have in their community That's and cool. they have in their state. And it's not just, oh, I wear Georgia football colors because I'm from Georgia. No, the people really care about their communities. They care about their state and they put their money where their mouth is. That is that cool. The pride though. they have shows when you look at their historic nature. I mean, oh, wow. as a tourist, that pride that the South has really shows in historic homes they've redone. Here in Savannah is a great idea. You walk around, you see the history. I don't know really what, shows in what you call this. Is this like, okay, a bit of like sausage? Are these prawn shrimp i don't know what these are. i don't eat much fish like this what is that a bean bag corn right, this is this is a very weird contraption right here bro historic homes they've redone here in savannah is a great idea you walk around you see the history you can go see the homes the owen thomas house the mercer house um you know you can go to the, uh, julia gordon low where the girl, girl stout started they have these homes you can go visit and see so much and you right. see that history and they've taken the pride in it in their towns and they're saying like, i'm proud of where i'm from i want to you know i was born in the south i want to die in the south that mentality the thing is look i'm always going to be here so they put that pride into their community they put that pride in their state and that's something that you don't get everywhere and it really shocks people like no i love where i live and i'm going to stay here and i'm going to do what i can to make it better and that pride they have is shocking because it comes into a great way as a tourist and the historic aspects that are out here and how they take care of their own that's people that's cool i like that and it's a great thing Anyway, those are 10 things that I think might shock kind of international tourists or even American tourists when I they come down here to, to the go. South. It is a fantastic place. Whether you're going to the beach cities of Wilmington or, or you're going to the historic place of Charleston and Savannah and New Orleans on the coast, or you're going inland, you're going to Oxford, Mississippi and see Ole Miss. Or what is the first place in the South of USA would you say I have to go and visit? That would be interested to see what you guys have to say about that. Or, or going to a game at the University of Alabama. And to, uh, it's just, you know, it's just... It's a really great place to go. Natchez, Mississippi, with the houses there. Oh my God, it's just gorgeous. Oh, and wow. that's just one of the things. No matter where you go in the South, you will be shocked about a lot of things. And I really hope you have a great time. I can't wait for it, to be fair. If you want to know more, 10 places to see in the South. Yeah, you guys definitely let me know any of the things about the South of the USA, especially if you do live there as well. Let me know what you think I should know about it. A great video, enjoy that. Make sure you let me know what part of the South of the USA I should definitely visit. That would be really interesting. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to thumbs up subscribe for more content i'm live every single day on twitch.tv for slash l3wg if you guys want to check me out over there i'll see you on the next one peace